uh, we're going to begin with uh, Elder Lush and then, and then conclude with uh, Elder Weir. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Like you said, my name is Elder Lush. Um, I've been able to serve here in this ward for a few months, and I'm very appreciative uh, for the wonderful music talents that we've heard today and for the wonderful uh, talk that Brother Gage has given us as well. Often when I think of the restoration, I think of a message of hope that this is not the end and that we're able to return to our Father in Heaven and have that information again. And that's what I've been asked to talk upon today about the hope that we can find in Christ. Um, in the Portuguese, the word for hope is esperança. And that comes from the root verb of esperar. A few of you maybe here know a little bit of Portuguese. I know there's a few members in our ward. But what esperar means is to hope or to wait for. And I've always found that very interesting. At the beginning of my mission when I was learning the language, it was one of those things that kind of intrigued me. Because at first you kind of think it's kind of weird. In English, I'm hoping for a bus. Kind of doesn't have the same thing as I'm waiting for a bus, right? But as I started to look at it more in a religious perspective, aren't we all just waiting for God's will to be completed? Aren't we hoping for something like that to happen in our own lives? Often they're synonymous in the religious terms of us waiting and us hoping, because we never know God's timing. But as we have hope, and as we wait for that moment, it will be perfect for us, and we'll know it's true. In the Bible dictionary, you can't actually find the word hope. It doesn't, it's not there for definition. It actually leads you to the word faith. And that's very interesting, because faith and hope, they go hand in hand. Without one, you can't have the other. If you don't have faith, then there's no point in having hope. And if we don't have hope, then it's a lack of faith. We were talking with a member of a different ward the other day, and they talked about this. That there's often members in the church that have a lot of faith, but there's no hope to go with it. And that's very evident during these times of coronavirus or the COVID. We all have our faith, but sometimes we're, lack, we're lacking in hope. In the definition of the Bible dictionary, it says, Faith is to hope for things which are not seen, but which are true, and must be centered in Jesus Christ in order to produce salvation. To have faith is to have confidence in something or someone. I love at the very beginning, it says, Faith is to hope. When we have this kind of hope, this faith and we're centered completely on Jesus Christ. Nothing else matters. We're going to be able to see miracles and blessings in our lives because of that faith and hope. Despite any darkness that we go through, we'll be able to see the light at the end. It's amazing to see, like if we're in a dark room, the power that a small candle has. Oops. That's the power that a small candle has because it can really bless light up the room that's around it. In 2 Nephi, chapter 4, um, a little bit of preface. This is actually one of my favorite scriptures that I found on my mission. Um, in verses 34 and 35, Nephi has just lost his father, a man that he adored and respected beyond anyone else. And he's going through those grief processes, and he can feel it in himself, that lack of, you know, the inadequacy as he now becomes the prophet. And as he goes through the chapter, he starts with this grief, and he starts with the sadness, and it turns to hopefulness and a faithfulness. And he says in 34, O Lord, I have trusted in thee, and I will trust in thee forever. And he continues in 35, Yea, I know that God will give liberally to him that asketh. Yea, my God will give me if I ask not in this. Therefore I will lift up my voice unto thee. Yea, I will cry unto thee, my God, the rock of my righteousness. Behold, my voice shall forever ascend upon, up unto thee, my rock and my everlasting God. Amen. It's amazing to see the power of faith and hope in our lives. 
Nephi, the great Nephi that we all know from the Book of Mormon, a, a man who, who followed God all the time, he had his rough moments too. And as he affirms and testifies here in his, these last verses, we need to trust in God always and have that faith to know that he'll deliver. A quick story is when I was in Brazil, um, I had this companion who had kind of lost hope of an area. He didn't believe that there was anyone else in the area that we could teach and that, you know, it was all for naught, that we might as well just sleep the entire day. Um, but I, I made a goal with this elder at the beginning of our transfer saying that we're going to do the best that we could. And we did. And we worked hard. And we always had that faith and that hope to continue to go forward. And um, one day as he was, you know, walking, I was close to the end of the transfer. I was like, we're going to find one more good person to teach. There's going to be something good that happens today. And he kind of shrugged it off and was like, okay. And so we started and we, we're walking down the street. And, you know, the entire time I'm like, oh, God's going to help us. We know what's going to happen. And as we come into this area, a huge marketplace with a bunch of people, there's a bus station right next to us. All these people moving around, we hear someone yell out, elders. And we stop for a minute and we look around, and this lady that we've never met before comes up to us. And she's like, she introduces herself, and she's I've been inactive from the church for about five years. Um, and I was wondering on where a church building is near to me. And luckily we were about three blocks away, so we kind of showed her the directions. And she thanked us, and she was about to go on her way. And as she took a step forward to leave, she stopped, and she turned back towards us. And she's, she's like, you know, I actually just had a thought. I want to come back to church, but I want to bring my mother with me. Um, her mother was 91 years old, and she had never been to our church. Um, but this young, this woman, she invited us over to her house. And we came, and we talked with this 90-year-old woman. And her name was Leo the Sea. She was one of the best people that we've ever met. We had a wonderful lesson with her where the Spirit testified of the truthfulness of the things that we were teaching. And it was a great, great moment for me, a building to show that when we have faith and hope, God will provide. Um, in closing, I'd like to bear my testimony that I know that God will always help us. There's not a moment in our lives where he will leave us if it seems that way, it's because we're being tested and we're learning to grow. And I know that as we continue in life, there's going to be hard trials. But God is always there for us. And he has faith in us. And we need that faith in him. And grow our hope and our love for him. And I say these things in Jesus Christ. Amen.